I'll be showing an inexpensive way to make 45 caliber bullets for my 450 Bushmaster. Pretty much I'm starting start off with your standard 308 case. I resize it with the 308 resizing die. And then I cut it down with the small tubing cutter so I don't have to use my trimmer to trim off that much brass. Here's a trim case. I trim them down to 0 .700 inches, 7 tenths of an inch. Seems to be the correct length to get what I want to come out. This is what they look like after I run them through and swag them down to form the ogive. And then there's a the finished product after I trim the tip down to the shape I want. Second step after trimming down your cases, that one's all nice and trimmed down, ready to go, is uh, kneel them. But I, what I've been doing, I just heat these suckers up cherry hot since it doesn't really matter how soft they get. It's not like I'm going to be resizing them and firing them again. The softer, the better performing, in my opinion. Once it's good and hot, just drop them in the water. Yeah, it's in there. And then I continue on. Do however many you have made up on the demonstration, so I'll just do a couple. These are a lot thicker down at the base than a, say, like a 40 caliber case, since it was a rifle case. So it takes a lot longer to heat up. I don't know if you can see that. It looks red inside there. It should be good. On to the next step. Alright, I got the cases annealed, dropped in water to cool them, but since they get all tarnished from that process, I probably wouldn't affect how a bullet works, but I like things looking better than left out in the rain for five years, so what I've got is a mixture, basically, it's concrete etch and water, and i usually use it for for doing a homemade parkerizing job but I'm going to use it to brighten these cases up a little bit before the next phase here and after they come out of here I rinse them off again and and warm them up with the torch just enough to make sure there's no uh, moisture left in them before pouring the lead in okay there's all my cases out of the cleaning solution all and I, I like I said I dried made sure the primer pocket sizzled out so they would no be no moisture in there when I put the hot lead in and what I got here this is paste flux or flux paste and what I'm been doing I don't know if it's going to do any good or not but I just swab a little bit of this in here in these cases and I'm hoping That'll help the the lead kind of solder itself to the inside of the case to uh, keep the jacket from separating from the lead on impact. Because I've noticed if I don't, and after I pour a core of lead in there and they cool, a lot of times that lead will fall right out. So I've been doing this and it seems to stay in there. So uh, maybe it'll retain all of its. Uh, it's weight on the impact too. I'll have to 
do some testing and find out once I get these babies ready to go. Okay, here I went ahead and poured right out of my my Lee 10 pound pot. I poured right into the case. You see, they some of them look ugly. That's no big deal. I'm going to fix that. What I do, I just kind of reheat them. And that will help them uh, adhere the lead adhere to the inside of the case. Once that lead smooths out, I would say. There we go. This extra stuff will drip off here. Then on to the next step. The next step we're going to be forming the nose on the, the bullet.